Alright, buenos dios, mis amigos. I want to make this real simple. Alright, you, you notice here when I do a word search for millennial reign, you see how many times people use that term in their title the millennial reign of Christ right community in crisis and the millennial reign of Christ this is every single day this is going on um, again millennial reign of Christ the golden age millennial reign millennial reign millennial kingdom and so on and so forth alright so the interesting part to me is that there is no millennial reign of Christ mentioned anywhere in the Bible whatsoever. Now, never mind the, the fact that the word, okay, is not in the word millennium is not in the Bible. Forget about that. Just think about the idea. The idea that Jesus Christ reigns a thousand years, however you want to word it. That idea is not in the Bible anywhere at all. All right, it's, it stems from two verses in Revelation 20. Hey, you're not going to find the idea anywhere else. And if you actually read what it says, it says they lived and reigned with Christ. All right, and shall reign with Him a thousand years. It doesn't say Jesus Christ reigns a thousand years it says they lived and reigned with Christ and shall reign with him that it's a big difference it's a huge difference because I mean for one thing Jesus reigns forever I mean, there's so many verses to support that but one ought to be enough really because if you got one verse that is contrary to this idea that Jesus reigns a thousand years, then your whole doctrine is utterly destroyed. Because the scripture cannot be broken. There cannot be an error in the Word of God, in the Bible. If, the, if you have a Bible that has an error, that Bible belongs in a trash can. If it has an error, an omission, or a contradiction... It's not from God. Luke chapter 1 verse 33, And he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there shall be no end. So that destroys the idea that Jesus reigned a thousand years. You can't have this contradiction. Period. And so, <laughs> it's not even in Revelation 20, the idea that Jesus reigned a thousand years. It's not there. Can you see? Can you see it for yourself? And they lived and reigned with Christ. They and and shall reign with him. They shall be priests of God in Christ and shall reign with him a thousand years. So this is really a very simple explanation. Right now we live and reign with Christ. Right now, we live in a very unique time period where we are in the world, but we are not of the world. We are born of the Spirit of God. We have everlasting life, and this world's coming to an end. All right? And so, it's a very interesting and unique time period from the time of Jesus, when God was manifest in the flesh, to the time of his return, this is a different time period that we're living in than what the time period was like before God was manifest in the flesh. And this time period that we're in right now is different from the time period after Jesus comes in the clouds of heaven. That's why this is referred to as a thousand years.